hi you guys welcome back to my garden in today's video we're going to be closing the fountains we're going to be cleaning out the containers we're also going to start the process to overwinter a couple of plants i have three fountains on my property what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in i'm going to drain these out i came outside this morning just to do a little look around and see how everything's starting to transition to go to sleep the front of the fountain ice on it the front of the retaining wall also had ice on it. Over the next couple of days, I'll let the fountain drain out and then I'll come and I'll put my tarp over it. So I like to take a couple of days when I drain my fountain out if I have the luxury of doing that. It's kind of late in the season but the reason why I'm draining it this way versus letting everything out the bottom at once is I want to kind of, I don't want to saturate the area but I want to just let a little bit of the water out. And also, I want to make sure that the plants that's underneath here, I'm not drowning those plants out with just so much water at one time. Now, I'm going to go in and lift the plunger a little bit. That way, it'll help facilitate some of the water being drained, not all of the water. And then I'll come back in a day or two and completely lift the plunger out. But again, that way, I'm not introducing all of this water into my flower bed at one time. Now, I'll come back and I'll get all of the leaves out of here, but I definitely want to make sure I get the water out of here. And it's going to be a little bit difficult for this area because this is quite a bit of water coming out. So what I should have done is I should have emptied it first and then I should have came back and planted my tulip. I'm ready to go in and I'm going to pull out these uh, Super Tunia Vista White. Now, just maybe two or three days ago these had they were very full they were full of color and i left them because they were still looking so beautiful but these have reached their season and i need to go in and start shutting down my garden so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to pull these super tunias and i'll look forward to next season Whew. hey girl hi mama Hi, baby. Get that baby. Say hi, Nelly. Nelly, say hi. Say hi. Penelope, look. Look, say hi. Yeah. 
the way she tackled me was crazy but she hates seeing me down on the ground so that's her reaction every single time she sees me down on the ground like that Like this one did not survive and I don't see any sign that this is gonna pull through but it's okay if it doesn't because what I'll do is I'll just come in because these are only gonna get bigger so I'll just put my show right here Now, look at this geranium. Still looking beautiful. You know, it just goes to show when you take care of your plants, you can still have a show. The hydrangea standards are underplanted with some beautiful lemon coral sedum. So what I want to do is I want to go in and I'm going to pop these out because these are actually a perennial in zone 7. So what I want to do is I want to preserve these and that way by me preserving these I can have these next year and it will save me a little bit of cash, a little bit of coins in the garden. So I'm going to dig these out, but I'm going to have to be very gentle to make sure that I'm not cutting into the roots of the hydrangea standards. Now, hydrangeas have very shallow roots, so I'm going to try to just dig these out with care. And if I'm not getting a lot of roots of the lemon coral sedum, that's fine because the most expensive plant here is the hydrangea tree. I'm going to shake off a little bit of the excess dirt and just check out the root system. And if you see, I have the nice little feeder roots already. So it'll be easy. You can't propagate this because it's licensed, but it'd be easy for it to transfer over. And the same thing on this one, I'm just going to pop this out nice and slow. Try to watch out for the hydrangea standard roots. That one came out really easy. here I'm gonna to have to take apart in order to go in and uh, take the pump out and everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take out this lemon coral sedum we still have some super tunia vista bubble gum 
because this fountain is very heavy and we'll go ahead and I'll try to pull these out. If not, I'll just scrap them because I have enough plants saved. Look how huge this root ball is. I didn't think I was going to get it out. So, I'm going to go ahead and overwinter this whole thing as an experiment and see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And as always, I'll be showing you pictures later.